I was asked to share some of the things that I had to sacrifice in order to make my beach body business work. Um, so when I was working full time as a CPA for an accounting firm, uh, working pretty good hours, um, what did I have to give up in order to put in the time I needed to build my beach body business to the point where I could quit my accounting job and do beach body full time? Because that was that was my my why. That was my goal, um, especially when uh, beginning of 2013, January 2013 is kind of when I made that decision that I didn't want to just spend the rest of my life doing something just because I got paid to do it. I didn't want to just go through the motions of, of being an accountant just because I, that's how I made a living. I wanted to do something for a living that I actually loved. Um, and I knew that Beachbody would be something that if I could do that full time, it would be the best of both worlds. I'd, I'd be able to make a living doing it and I would be doing something that I love. Um, so that when I made that decision, um, there was definitely some sacrifices I needed to make in order to make that happen. Um, so a few of those were, you know, I'd get up a little bit earlier than I used to, to be able to get a head start before I had to go to work. I'd get on my computer at home and respond to some messages and, and uh, post in my, in my Facebook groups and, and things like that um, before I would leave for work. So getting up a little bit earlier, maybe even just a half an hour earlier to put in that half an hour uh, before work. And then at work, on my lunch break, I used to uh, go and eat with my coworkers. And we would just sit around and chat and things like that. What I started to do was use that, that lunch break um, to go work out or to do some more inviting and following up on my computer at work. I would do some Facebook work uh, on my beat on my beach body business rather than going and sitting and talking with coworkers, which I enjoyed obviously, but I knew I needed to make that that short term sacrifice if I wanted to, to have the, my long term goal of creating a full time income with beach body. Um, other things I did were I totally gave up TV. I stopped watching television uh, except you know once in a while I'd watch a Syracuse basketball game, um, some NFL football. Uh, but I stopped watching shows. You know, I used to get home and the first thing I'd want to do was watch some Seinfeld or some kind of like sitcom, you know, just veg out on the couch. And I just, even though I still felt like I wanted to do that when I got home, I didn't let myself do it. I would get on my computer and I would do follow-ups and I would do invites. Um, and I would connect with people and build relationships with people um, because I knew I needed to do that. I also gave up some of the, the sports teams that I was on, some of the adult recreation leagues that I was in and that was tough because you know that was something I always looked forward to but I knew that if I had if I gave those up for a while um, I could play as many of those leagues as I want which now that I'm a full-time Beachbody coach I'm in I can do as many of those leagues as I want now which is great but I had to I had to sacrifice those short term um, also definitely gave up some sleep uh, I, you know let's be honest I there was there were some days that I would stay up until midnight, one in the morning, working on my business. And I knew that I had to make that happen. Um, I had to sacrifice some sleep at times in order to get the time that I needed into my business. So I was consistent every day. And I knew that was just going to be part of it. You know, I made sure I got at least, you know, seven hours of sleep um, if I could. Sometimes maybe a little less. Uh, if, if I had a really hectic day and I got home from work really late and I didn't have any time at work to do beach body stuff, I would sacrifice some sleep to get my work done at least an hour or more a day. Um, and if that meant giving up sleep, then that was what I was going to do. Um, one last thing that I, that was a sacrifice for me was I sacrificed what, um, what other, I, I guess I stopped worrying about what other people thought because when I was kind of treating this as a hobby, I, there was things I didn't do because I was afraid of what other people might think if I posted this or shared that. And so I, I made that sacrifice of not caring anymore about what other people thought. And this was what I was going to do, whether or not other people thought it was good or not, like that was okay with me. I, I knew that I believed in it and I knew what I wanted to share. And if they didn't want to hear it, then they could unfriend me and that was fine with me. Um, but that was a big sacrifice was I just stopped caring about what other people thought and I was going to do what made me happy. And uh, once once I made that sacrifice, it was like a weight was lifted and I felt 
like I could just post whatever was on my mind, whatever I felt like sharing, um, and I got an amazing response from it. And those people that had some negative things to say, they slowly were silenced by all the other positive things that came along. And some of those people that were the naysayers are now joining me, which is kind of funny. Um, so definitely had to make some short-term sacrifices for the long-term results, but absolutely 110% worth it.